with you. It was the final score on that one. Let's have a look at the goals then. The opening goal came in the 14th minute. Keeper Murali not able to hold on. A stab goal by Gamedze, who was the only change made by Dominic Kunene coming into this match. And Estocini had early celebrations. Yeah, not able to quite hold on to that one. And Gamedze vigilant. He'll be very disappointed with himself, the goalkeeper. And uh, I, I saw there are times when he came out and dealt with the high pull into his area very well. I'm not sure what happened with this one, but that's what it is. But obviously credit to Gamete, who was a led to the opportunity. Just five minutes later, there was another opportunity in Tunisia, skinning the offside trap, skinning Murani as well. Two goals in five minutes, and Eswatini were in control. Wonderful. He can play with his back to goal, but also in the way that he turned immediately, the defenders will be disappointed with himself. I mean, if a player passes a ball, it's normal that you will expect a return pass. And they should have been on the ready, on the back foot, to be able to match him with his speed. But quality, once again, in the way that he slides it past the goalkeeper. There's an opportunity late to follow Sutu Mokokowani with the ball into the penalty area. The ball floated across. One missed opportunity, two missed opportunities. Lepokolani saved by Sanza Nezwe. And that was as good as it got for Lesotho in the match, unfortunately, for the uh, Mountain Kingdom. At the end of the day, though, Eswatini then comes.